what's the strategy or thought process behind you? You guys signed a quarterback in every class, and what's, what's kind of the, the, the thought behind that? And would you rule out you know, not starting a guy just because he's a freshman? No, I wouldn't rule that out at all. I mean, he's the best player, so why would you not play him? That's like saying guys from California, so would you not play him because he's from California? I mean, Guy's ready to play, and he's the best player. That means he's done something to deserve the right to play. Um, and about recruiting a quarterback every year, um, I, I think that all gets based on you know the body of players that you have here, the quality of players that you have at that position. Do you feel like you have a significant number of guys you can develop into playing winning football for you? Um, and if that's the case, maybe if you have enough quarterbacks on scholarship, uh, maybe there's a year where you don't recruit one. Um, but it's also a position that um, mobility, when I say mobility, I'm talking about guys leaving the program when they think they're not going to play is something that is not uncommon. Um, so if you have a circumstance like that where you have a younger player that beats out older players, Sometimes the older players will leave. So you're always trying to plan for all the circumstances relative to what can happen in a particular position. And, um, you know, when we can add quality to the position, we're always going to do it. Um, I think probably a, a, a tougher question is, is why would you not recruit more than one guy in that position? Uh, and uh, I, think, I think if you're short in numbers, that's something that you would consider doing as well. Front here, Mark. That's just off topic, but uh, one of your former assistant coaches, Dan Quinn, just recently got the head coaching job at North Carolina Pass. What do you remember about him as a coach, and what do you, how do you, what do you think of him? Well, Dan Quinn is a, an outstanding coach, very bright guy, um, you know, high energy, uh, good teacher, uh, really well liked by the players. Players really respond to him. Uh, and it's because he's a good teacher, he's a good coach, and he affects their ability to be successful, and that's what you know any player wants, but uh, especially professional players. And uh, I think he'll do an outstanding job. I mean, he could do a more outstanding job than he did as a coordinator. He certainly proved um, what kind of leadership he has with the group that he had in Seattle the last couple of years with what they've done defensively. So uh, we're really pleased and happy for him, and um, I think he'll do a great job. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.